All right, everyone, here we go. Game number three between Idra and TT1. Here at the 6 o'clock position is Idra, the blue Zerg player, and in the 12 o'clock, TT1, the green Protoss player. Game number three in this best of three series between these two players. Clearly right now, they are tied up 1-1. This time, this game is going to be on Metalopolis, and last game was uh, pretty interesting, you know, re really, in all honesty. Um, not a whole lot happened for most of the game, and then we did have that one engagement, uh, and basically TT1 pushing out with a gateway mix with some immortals in there uh, and having just enough sentries to continuously force field away and keep the uh, roach heavy army of idra at bay and it would just allow TT1 to tear through um, piece by piece the army of Idra. And Idra actually just up and left the game, clearly frustrated with the way that engagement went uh, and realizing that that put him really far behind and he was likely going to lose after that point. Um, that's why he just kind of up and left without the GG. We can see right now TT1 actually going to be moving straight across, uh, scouting cross position initially, also checking the edge of his base. So how is he going to go straight cross position? That's weird. Does he have hacks? No, he doesn't. Uh, because as you can see, scouting the edge of his base at the same time, uh, that would have told him if the overlord was coming from this position it would have told him if idra was over here at the spawn location and had he seen that overlord he just would have rerouted his uh his probe but in not seeing it he just went straight cross position uh that's basically what it is so there you go uh, we can see right now also the depot sitting at the bottom and this is of course the variant of the map um with that with the depot at the bottom uh this is kind of a clear distinguishing factor it also helps deal with any sort of wall off harass that you could otherwise have uh this makes it so that you know that's not an issue for you Getting to right now, Idra starting off with that early game spawning pool, um, knowing that this probe here is going to be trying to harass and stop the expo of Idra. He, of course, does want those Zerglings to out to be able to deal with it. Um, it looks like Idra is actually still going to be trying to drop this down, but no, there is the pylon. Um, so again, uh, Idra going to be forced to wait until these Zerglings come out uh, before he's able to actually do anything about this, because this pylon is obviously going to stop him from placing the hatchery in kind of that ideal location. Back over here for, uh, for TT1, a little, bit, a little bit late here, a little bit not where he would ideally like to be because of this pylon placement um, this is going to put him you know in a position but he's going to actually need to come down with another pylon to prevent that supply cap uh, that he will get once Idra does go ahead and get these four zerglings out to destroy it and again, realizing that he wasn't able to drop that expansion when he would have liked to. Uh, going to come out with this extractor as well. Start to try to work on that metabolic boost. Going to be much later than if we saw extractor pool type of opening. Uh, clearly, that is the case right now. And there we go. TT1 finally coming out with that additional pylon. Uh, because here comes that inevitable supply block once this pylon does get destroyed. But as soon as this gets taken care of, Idra will, of course, go ahead and drop down that expo finally at long last. There we go. Expansion is down right now for Idra. Just going to be sticking with these first four Zerglings. Moving on out right now to get some scouting information grabbing those towers and then gonna want to try to head on in the base and actually look at this a drone chilling out in the main base here of tt1 um is it unbeknownst to him i'm not sure if he actually saw i'm sure he saw that go in um but i'm sure he's just waiting until he actually gets that stalker out to even bother chasing it around uh just chasing it around with a with a probe isn't really going to do much of anything uh, so might as well just wait until he can actually oh actually sentry first i can't believe i just didn't look at the damn production tab <laughs> i just assumed it was a stalker but no sentry first so that's actually going to lead me to believe uh, that we're probably going to be seeing a 3-gate expand here from TT1 going sentry first. Uh, going to be going sentry heavy 3-gate expand. That seems like the most likely thing. Idra over here with that expansion about 50% of the way finished. Also some Zerglings scouting around the map checking for proxy pylons. Uh, wants to see if TT1 does have, have anything planned um, in the future and if he had dropped any pylons in preparation for that. Uh, back over here. Here are those two additional gateways for that 3-gate expand that we do expect right now. A uh, drone still chilling out right now. Actually the sentry hasn't managed to kill it off and uh the drone might actually be able to get out of the base uh no never mind i'm gonna walk right into this sentry and see you later uh, if he had clicked on a mineral patch he may have actually been able to path right through that zealot and he could have potentially made it out of the base but i uh, didn't end up bothering even trying to do that Idra going to be droning up right now. It does have creep tumor spreadage starting right. So starting to get his creep spread uh, across the map right now. Still no saturating on this extractor simply because uh, he has in fact decided to come up for this third because he is expecting that three get expand as we are as well. Um, we can see again here's that third gateway just finished right now. There's the pylon and I'm expecting that expansion to be the next thing that happens here for TT1. Uh, so in preparation for that, Idra just went ahead and got, went straight for that third expo. Um, finally kind of pulling back to his roots. Going to be that macro player that we uh, we. Have have come to know and love uh, when it comes to the uh, player skill in terms of what Idra has. Uh, looks like we have a few sentries coming on out as well as this one zealot again it's keeping up that sentry heavy theme. Uh, almost going to expect maybe one to two more sentries to come in with these warpins as well. There is the nexus finally up. Uh, there are those additional sentries and actually going to be doing three more sentries. Uh, it looks like he's going to be moving across the map trying to uh, deny any zerglings from actually holding this tower. 
no reason to give him that scouting uh, scouting information if not need be. Again, Idris expansion is up. Roach Warren coming out. Uh, still no layer. Once he does have the Hunter Vespian, which is right now, uh, he should be coming out with that layer actually very, very soon. Maybe these next 150. Come on, layer. I expect you very soon right now. Unless Idris is going to maybe, maybe he is going for some aggression. No, he's not. Never mind. There's a layer. Uh, so going to be playing, again, fairly standard. Uh, just a couple of Zerglings just in case because he did see that kind of uh, suedo push that was happening from TT1. So just going to get out some guys just in case a little preparation but overall uh, we can see the overall theme here for idra is drone 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 wants saturation want that strong economy right now uh, that is of course his focus tt1 coming down with his gateway over here uh, going for a little bit of a wall off uh, again just making it a little bit more difficult for zerglings to run on by and kind of be dancing all over the place looks like right now tt1 hasn't really made much of a transition at all uh, and besides getting this additional uh, gateway that's the only only production buildings he's sitting on right now so we're gonna have to wait and see if he's coming out with a robo next or if he's just gonna go very very gateway heavy um would i oh wow actually even destroying off this depot he just does not like it whatsoever um couple zerglings scouting out the front of uh the front of idris uh idris zerglings scouting out the front of tt1 base right now uh, just gonna see continuous warpings now I'm gonna expect that robo because he would of course like an observer um, and then possibly being able to go for immortals as we saw TT1 go for last game and actually Idris starting off with uh, getting an additional hatch but this is not gonna be an expansion this is just gonna be an in base hatch uh, used for the extra larva that it does provide you with uh, Evo chamber is up and he will be coming out with that level one upgrade expecting roach heavy play just because that's what's really gonna be effective uh, in the most for the most part against a protoss opponent we do have the uh, overlord speed coming out the roach speed as well and as mentioned again there is that level one upgrade a couple roaches coming out as well it uh, looks like tt1 is getting kind of uh amped to push out a little bit uh idra gonna be aware of that right now with those zerglings that did have spotted outside of the front of tt1's base and where's that transition? Still nothing, really. Um, he's just been sticking to these four gates, and that is it. Uh, he's just been constantly churning out units and constantly churning out workers as well, uh, trying to get a strong economy and then use just these gateway units to do, provide a little bit of aggression for him. And actually, if he's, yes, he is. It looks like he may very well be pushing. That's going to force Idra to cancel the hatch that was there. Going to come down with some spine crawlers. Just this possible threat here of TT1, and <laughs> he's pulling back. So a very unfortunate situation for Idra. TT1 not actually committing there pulling back and as we saw that forced Idra to cancel the uh, hatchery that he did have there so that's going to be incredibly frustrating for him and he's just going to cancel the spines there as well realizing that that push um, is in fact not coming and he saw that retreat there with the zergling that he had at the tower so how frustrating is that for Idra uh, he was just you know a moments away from having this hatchery finished and being able to utilize those extra larvae but was forced to cancel it um, I, Idra now going to be coming out with the uh, wow the dropping so we might be seeing some drop action here from Idra in this game He's also got a couple more roaches coming out. Also realize that Hydra Dents are going to be just going Roach Hydra Heavy. Corruptor's going to come into play if Colossus do hit the board for TT1. Now, at the moment, though, it doesn't look like that is going to be the case because there is a forge, so there's no bay as of yet. We do have the robotics facility, but not that robotics bay. So it hasn't made that decision, but there it is. Robo Bay getting dropped right now. Uh, so we will be seeing those Colossus. And again, once that happens, fully expect Idra to get some Corruptors in order to properly deal with that. So we're going to be scouting out the third, aware of that. Going to try to whittle away at this a little bit until, of course, the units come up for TT1. That will force Idra back and see you later, Idra. A couple Overlords scouting about. I really like this placement here. Uh, he will see with this Overlord if there are probes moving up here to try to drop an expansion. Uh, so, of course, like this placement. I actually like uh, more being able to spread that creep there on the actual expansions themselves so even when they shoo away the overlord uh, they still have to deal with that receding creep before they can expand but uh, Idra not deciding to do that and this guy is completely missing the mark he's spewing the creep but it's apparently falling right over the edge um, and going down there into nothingness oh, oh then oh, there's ground down there it's not nothingness these buildings have to be supported by something clearly Anyway, that's random. Uh, Creep Shred, continuing that up here for Idra. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Starting to produce those Hydras. Here's that level 2 upgrade. Uh, Ventral Sacks just about finished. Groove Spines, that range increase for those Hydras. Uh, just about finished there as well. A semi wall off going on over here for TT1. Almost going to probably expect to see another one and maybe even get like a cannon or two as well. Uh, that is quite a possibility. TT1, what is he doing? Well, he's got Colossus coming through. Thermal Lance as well. Finally getting that level 1 upgrade. He doesn't have uh, any upgrades right now either. Uh, so just finally working in those level 1s. Uh, Idra, here comes the drop right now for Idra. Very, very cool. I'm really liking this. A couple roaches pushing across the map. I think he's going to use this as a distraction tactic. Hit with these roaches over here and then drop in the main. And yes, that is what's going to be happening. So roaches are going to hit just a moment before. Roaches engaging, uh, triggering the army here of TT1 to push over here. And then here comes the drop right in the main. 
Roaches and Hydras going in the main base. Going to expect some creep to be spread here as well. Uh, this is going to increase the effectiveness of these units, but how are they going to deal with this engagement? Needs to be careful about force fields. He needs to get rid of that Colossus. Push it forward. There are the force fields. So Idra again having to contend with force fields. So frustrating as a Zerg player. Uh, we see TT1 with that excess vision there from the Observer, and that's allowing his Colossus to just snipe everything that's going on. Unfortunately for Idra, he is pretty much losing everything here. Not doing a whole heck of a lot of damage. Just pretty much being a nuisance. Um, so very, very unfortunate here for Idra. He, again, he did not do a lot at all. It's going to force those overlords to retreat. He doesn't want to lose too many of these. Uh, would hate to get supply blocked after an engagement like this. So, wow, very unfortunate there for Idra. Let's take a look at the units lost. Uh, looks like they're pretty comparable. Um, the slight advantage right now going to TT1. And actually, Idra is mounting up for a second engagement right now. Uh, now, again, realize, in all honesty, uh, besides being a nuisance, Idra didn't do a ton of damage there at all. He did, of course, kill off some of the units of TT1s, but he didn't really hurt that production uh, whatsoever. TT1's production was not inhibited by that attack. And here comes uh, yet another. Uh, this is a healthy mix here of Roaches, Hydras, and Speedlings as well. Well, no distracting uh, engagement here that we did see initially. Um, in that first push we saw, Idra did go for some distraction, but again, look at these force fields and just making it so that Idra cannot do much of anything against the army of TT1. Uh, these Colossus have just been raining hell. This one's going to get target fired down. Needs to be very careful. Get pull out of the range right there. And there you go, TT1 pulling just out of the range. And these Colossus just doing so much damage to the army of Idra. Idra trying to segue a few more units up here, but no. Going to be forced to lift off and pull back, realizing again uh, that those force fields are just a bit too much for him to handle managed to unpower over here managed to hurt down these gateways and kill one gateway over here as well uh, but still was it enough damage for the losses taking a look there unit loss tab is still up Idra clearly at a disadvantage right now. Um, in order to really get back into this, he really needs to make sure that he's got his economy strong and pumping uh, so that he's going to be able to reinforce because a counterattack could be pretty devastating. Idra going to try to push over here. One big thing that he needs to make sure he does is actually hurt the economy. If this drop could just go straight on the probe line, he could do enough damage uh, to actually be in a good spot. And here we go. In the second drop. Give him the third drop actually going to be pushing forward first into the main and then the second one's going to be moving here into the expansion. This actually could be what Idra needs to do to come back into this right now. Now, there's a large army here for TT1 doing a lot of damage. He does not have that option of force field anymore. He's all about lost his sentries uh, and really deciding not to make as many here in the late game. Just going to be going with Stalker Colossus Heavy. Uh, he does manage to mop this up at the same time. Of course, there is that expansion uh, getting dropped right now from Indra. Indra, is he going to target fire down? Yes, he is. He's going to target fire down straight the Nexus. Is he going to be able to kill if this is really a big, big, important ma matter in this game? If he can kill off this Nexus before he loses these roaches, he's going to be very close to damage. He's going to be slowly winnowing down, but there we go. Idra killing off the expansion, and that's a really, really nice victory for Idra. Now, what Idra has to be concerned about right now is the counterattack. A counterattack is happening. You can see it right now. It's going on. Idra, he just needs to defend himself. If he can hold back this counterattack, he wins the game, plain and simple. Taking out that expansion was huge. Uh, the consistent drop harassment and still even more going down. This time some Hydras in the main, but here comes the push, and this is the deciding factor into how this game's going to play out. Idra just needs to defend against this, if he can defend it. Again, he has this game won. Corruptor's going to move forward, try to target fire down those Colossus, starting with the weak one first, and uh, unfortunately, wasn't able to get that as the Stalker reinforcements uh, did push back these corruptors here. We have a couple spines coming into play. Uh, Idra doing what he can. He's got one roach coming out. He's also continuing up these upgrades. Uh, lots of spines, but actually, what's what's going to happen is TT1 is just going to completely circumvent the spines. Idra is going to be forced to engage because he does not want this army to get too close to his main base. Going to be target firing down these colossus corruptors, doing a lot of damage to this colossus and the army of Idra. Mopping up what TT1 has and see you later TT1. The counterattack, unfortunately for him, was unsuccessful, and there is the GG. With some early game drone scouting, Idra was able to de determine the fact that TT1 was looking to do a 3-gate expand. In spotting this, Idra immediately moved on over to his third expansion. We can see right now uh, the main and the natural are, of course, up and running. And again, spotting those three gateways early on pretty much told Idra that this, this quick expansion, the three-gate expand, was coming from TT1. And as a result, he quickly went for his third. When the third was at, up, Idra dropped an additional hatchery in base to try to take advantage of some extra larva early game. However, while that was building, TT1 postured forward and was threatening to push with some early game aggression. In spawning that early game aggression, Idra actually decided that he wasn't going to be able to defend himself if he came up with this hatchery, so this forced him to cancel the hatchery a mere moments before it had finished, um, and then try to come out with some spine crawlers to defend. However, unfortunately, after canceling the hatchery and pushing back, uh, TT1 decided to retreat. He 
didn't want to engage. Um, and this, um, I, I would have to imagine, was incredibly frustrating for Idra. Spotting Idra's third, TT1 decided to move into a third himself, and then with some nice saturation on his bases, he then worked his way up into Colossus tech. Shortly after TT1 got his third up and running, we saw a little distraction attack at the front wall off at the third, while at the same time Idra was moving a drop right into TT1's main. Now TT1 responded pretty quickly and being sentry heavy from that early game 3 get expand, he was able to utilize force fields to actually push back this initial, initial aggression. Um, in all honesty, in this initial attack, Idra didn't end up doing too much damage simply because of these force fields. Idra, however, did not let this deter him as he continued to move up with a second drop. Uh, now again, this second drop, much as the first, uh, didn't do that much damage. We can see right now TT1 moving out of his base, uh, Idra pulling up with that drop, and as soon as TT1 pushed back to respond, he was able again to utilize force fields. So this the second drop in a row uh, was pretty much successfully defended here from TT1. The problem is though, after this point, TT1 no longer had force fields remaining uh, to prevent any additional harass. With most of the sentries and as such force fields out of the picture, Idra again dropped one more time in the main and at the very same time dropped in the third expansion. And this is actually one of the biggest moments in the game because Idra, with that drop that was taking place in the main uh, as a distraction and this main drop hitting the third, he was able to snipe down the nexus before TT1 was able to respond. Losing his third, forced TT1 to respond with a counterattack, and unfortunately for TT1, with a strong Corruptor army, uh, Idra was able to take out this Colossus very quickly, and the Roach Hydras, of course, made quick work of the Stalker Heavy Ground Force, and that is what forced the GG. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this best of 3 series between Idra and TT1, as you can see, uh, Idra has come out victorious. As always guys, if you like the content, please do go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Keep watching and keep owning.